up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Triple P and J. Y'all already know I'm Curtis. I'm the famous Kayla. <laughs> <laughs> All right, if y'all are new to the channel, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell button so you can see when we post new episodes on the audio platforms. Make sure y'all. Um, Download the episode, leave us a rating, leave us a comment. It doesn't matter. We like it all. All the attention we get. Um, yes, what's yes. been going on, Kayla, oh, this I last just, week or however many weeks we ain't been, been on? been working. Ain't nothing new in my life. Me You either. know, work, kids, relationship. I'm the same. Right. I got the same. Same. <laughs> well, not the kid. well, my dogs are my kids. They get on my nerves. <laughs> but I can just put them in the room and not check on them for an hour or two. But anyway, um... Yeah, I don't really have anything new going on either. Um, we're on episode 98, so we're close to episode 100. Can't wait to get everybody back together and, you know. We know y'all waiting on that. <laughs> we know y'all waiting on that. Let's see how that interaction is going to go. <laughs> but, yeah, um, like I said, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell button, and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. So, been looking at social media a lot lately. Oh, no. There's been a bunch of stuff just happening and happening. First and foremost, um, rest in peace to the rich homie Quan. Um, I was going to see if we could do the whole episode about him, but I didn't really listen to his music like that. I listened to some of his songs, and I didn't want to get on here being fake. You know, doing you know what? That. I realized the other day that I might be getting old. I might be getting a little you old. You know who he was? It's like, it's like I knew, but I didn't know. You know, okay. or didn't know, and I, I'm a little ghetto. Um, <laughs> are you? So some okay. songs I heard some of his songs on the radio, and I was like, I didn't know that was him. I thought that was um Young Thug, Young Thug, Young Dolph, Young whoever. You know, they all young. Well, <laughs> well, him and Young Thug, they was on a lot of songs together, but I could tell the difference between them because um, Young Thug. I that's when you sound like a little yeah. bit. But, um, yeah, I remember Rich Homie was really popping back in, like, 2014, 2015-ish, maybe a little bit after that. Because I 16, something like that. Because I um, used to listen to a lot of his music when, you know, ending high school and when mm -hmm. I first started really working and all that. But, yeah, um, it was shocking to see that he passed away. Um, it's a lot of rappers and artists passing away lately of a alleged substance or overdose or whatever so uh, rest in peace to him and rest condolences in peace, King. condolences to your family but yeah I, I know some of his songs was his songs and they, he really got some good music because mm -hmm. I heard some of his songs being played on the radio you know they was doing a tribute to him and I was like that's right. I love that song <laughs> I love it this yeah. is my jam that's I rich, didn't know that was him rich homie I guess I need to start looking at who the artist is when I listen to these songs. That's why I said, oh, am I getting old? I don't think I'm getting old. And, well, I, shit, I guess I'm getting old too <laughs> because I really don't be knowing some of these new artists either. I get on my 90s, 2000s, the early mm -hmm. 20s, and um, yeah, I'll be listening to that on repeat and then every so often. A new song will yeah. catch my attention. See, I'll be at work playing music until, you know, the store open. And so songs just, it just be on play. So songs just pop up. And now, now, because of Rich Homie Coin, I start looking, who is that? I like that little song. Yeah, yeah. I've gotten in the habit now of um, actually downloading the song when I like it, when I see it pop up. Mm -hmm. Because... I'll listen to it and get familiar with the um, the artist more if I download it. So, I mean, my playlist is expanding now. Okay. And then I'm going back to some old school stuff. Oh, I'll be on YouTube Music. Okay. I love YouTube Music. They have a bunch of stuff on there, too. Uh, it's the same stuff that be on Apple Music and Spotify. Yeah. It's the same stuff. But, yeah. I'll be on YouTube Music, like, at home watching the videos and stuff. But as far as when I'm on the go... I'm always listening to Apple Music or something I already have downloaded on my phone. Mm -hmm. So, speaking of the media, um, have you been watching Love & Hip Hop? I, no, not necessarily. I've been watching it, but not like the Atlanta. whole... Yeah, not the whole episodes, but I've been catching the little clips. So, I'm going to be honest with you. I haven't really been the 
biggest love and hip hop fan. I think they're on season 12. I haven't consistently watched the show to where I have to like, oh, I gotta record this and watch this on the day it's gonna come out. Um, I haven't done that since about season nine, eight, something like that. Because I just feel like they started moving all these people from the other Franchise. uh, franchises of uh-huh. Love & Hip Hop when they canceled them off and brought them to Atlanta knowing y'all don't necessarily really live in Atlanta or y'all didn't at that time. So it's not the same show it was when Jocelyn and Mimi and Stevie J and all of them was on there back mm-hmm. in the day. So it's not that interesting to me anymore, but something that has caught my attention while, um, you know, surfing the web, Instagram, is Rashida and Kirk again. So... Like I said, they're on like season 12. So I feel like Kirk been making Rashida look like a fool all 12 years. All 12 years. All 12 years. And so the new thing that's happening on this current season is the baby mama of the child that Kirk had. She's so doggone weird. You know, I ain't a fan of baby mama drama. And don't give me, I'm a baby mama. And I ain't never gave no drama. Because I just don't care about that man enough. Because she just to cause popping his, up. Yes, to cause his current woman, wife, whatever, to, to just disrupt his current relationship. I just don't care about that man enough for that. Yeah, now we yeah. all saw it um, on that one season where it came out that he had had a baby with her mm-hmm. um, while they were married. But now, fast forward all these years, now she back on the scene. But she she really getting some camera time this season. Yes. Every time I see a clip, she in it. But it just seemed like she too obsessed with, with Rashida for me. She's been wanting to be friends with Rashida since she slept with Rashida's husband and had the baby by Rashida's husband. That's crazy. So, That's crazy. Me personally, I kind of just feel like I'm torn. So I don't know if... I know that the baby's there, but I don't know if all of this hypeness behind them is for a storyline on the show or or what. Because well, you know they said it wasn't even real. Like, I really, that ain't really Kirk's son or whatever. Oh, Allegedly, they said, they, they said, they said that. that. Yeah, like when it first came out about him having a baby with, with Jasmine, they said that that wasn't, like if they paid that girl to do that, like it was for the storyline. But, I mean, they keeping up if it's a lie. They show keeping it up real good. Right, they didn't keep up with this lie. The baby, the baby ain't a baby no more. He what, eight or something? Eight. Six. Six, seven. <laughs> One of them, one of them ages. One of them. But he, um, I don't know. Kirk just been making Rashida look dumb all these years. And then I saw on the shade room they had posted um a clip of them on a red carpet at some event or whatever together, asking them how have how has their marriage survived for oh, twenty five years? And then I, you listen to both of them giving their answers. Kirk, just from the clips I've seen of that and on the show. I just feel like after all these years of allegedly cheating and all, or cheating on the show and all the stuff that you've been putting Rashida through, you would think that you'd be better at lying by now. Because I was watching the clips of when him and Jasmine were sitting down on the show and when Rashida was sitting down with both of them at the same time and was asking questions, and he's still just fumbling. He fumbling over all his words. The lie ain't straight. <laughs> Yeah, you were just. Thinking. I deleted it. I just deleted it. Like, why would I keep messages from her? Because what? that's your baby mama, and you communicating with your baby mama about y'all's child. So why would you need to delete it if it wasn't nothing? You know what I'm saying? The lies, the lies, the lies. But I will say, <laughs> I will say to Jasmine's point. <clears throat> I don't really like her either. But I will say to her point with her trying to contact Rashida and have communication with Rashida about the kid. I will say if if you're accusing Kirk of still trying to sleep with you, right? So you're Rashida, I'm Jasmine. If I'm coming to you telling you that Kirk is trying to sleep with me and maybe me and you should open up a line of communication for this child that you clearly have taken in, okay, maybe maybe I should open up the line of communication. You don't think so? I'm with you, Rashida. Because if you wanted a line of communication with me, you could have did it in a different way. Okay. She could have went straight to Rashida. But instead, you went to Erica. You went to Mama D. You went to Carly. You went to Carly's friends. Yeah. You went to everybody but me. 
If you wanted to have a relationship with me, you should have just came to me. But you done went out in the streets telling the whole world that, that my husband wants you. You could have just came to me. Yeah. Now you got all my friends in my business. I don't want them knowing what's going on yeah. in my failed marriage. <laughs> <laughs> Then you got me looking stupid on this show again. Yeah, you got me looking stupid. Not my man, because he ain't told nobody. He was trying to sleep with you. You told everybody around me that my husband was trying to sleep with you, and then you want to come to me and say, let's be friends. Girl, mm. <laughs> Okay, now that you break it down like that, I see it. I can understand it. But I I don't know. I guess I had sympathy in that moment. But that makes sense. Fuck her. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Chad. <laughs> But anyway, yeah. What is the obsession with the baby mamas wanting to be friends with the wife? Why? Why? We don't have to be friends. I guess to know y'all shared the same person. I don't know. You you get a kick out like I don't Some of them might. The I think that Rashida Kirk and um, Jasmine, I just feel like they're a throuple at this point. That's what it's giving. And Rashida... It's giving... Jasmine still won't Kurt, but she realized he's not going to leave Rashida for her. So and now Rashida. she want to keep poking Rashida. Well, That's what I think. Well, how Kurt been acting so stupid and so sloppy with his shit, he seemed like he trying to leave the marriage, but Rashida keep forgiving him. A man going to always tell you that they going to leave the woman. But if you was going to leave the woman, why you ain't left? He ain't going to leave. He what want you her waiting to leave. on? He want her to leave him. You, why you ain't leave her before you start messing with me? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. It don't make but sense. But my question to Rashid is, how many times, how many times you gonna let him get away with the same how stuff? How many times you gonna forgive? How many times you gonna take care of baby? Rashida, I just want to know. You out having fun too? Probably. I think she out having she fun because it just is. ain't no way that you just so forgiving. Like I'm just gonna cuss him out and we are gonna continue our marriage. It's like a big business arrangement. They businesses be booming. I say that. So why do you want to cheat? Why do you want to leave her? I don't understand. Rashida is a boss. Rashida brings in a lot of bread. Rashida ain't no ugly woman. She is very at all. She very beautiful. Body banging. So she got hair. Real hair. Real hair. So I don't understand. Versus Jasmine, what do she have? A body? Your baby. Rashida got that. A baby? Rashida got kids for him? I don't, I don't understand. But I guess it ain't for me to understand. But hey, I'm going to stay out of Anywho, it in the words but of But Rashida, Shemar. girl, your friend is candy. You better ask about that song. What song? When you out having fun, don't think I'm not. She already know because she already doing this. Rashida, get your get back. Get she, your lick back. I believe she done got the get back already. If you did, tell me. I ain't going to tell you. Slide, slide in, the, the, in our email and let yeah, us know. Yeah, please let me know. I just want to know for my own pleasure. Like, that's why you stay, girl. I get it. I get it. But they do say it's cheaper to keep them. They got all these businesses and stuff together. Yeah, it's cheaper to keep her. Yeah, divorce is a lot. You got to separate and... Yeah, y'all got to split your assets and all this stuff that y'all been built together. Split the and kids. Continue, and, and continue building together after I, the, I get that after the initial um, cheating scandal. They kept building stuff together. So I'm like, y'all y'all just partners for life. You know what I would love to see on Love & Hip Hop? Let's see Rash Rashida get caught with somebody and see how Kirk handled that. They do need to switch up the storyline a little gonna, bit, though. He gonna try to leave her. You know the male can't handle the same shit that they. He ain't do. going nowhere. He gonna try. He gonna act like he <laughs> is. But, yeah, but I they do need to switch it up. But I can't see Rashida just crying and begging for him to stay either. Mm -mm, no. I can't see that. Cause I'm gonna be like, what about her? You know what? I think they need to do. And then in the whole show, I feel like they need to bring back the originals. Bring back all the originals, if the, if it was possible. Bring back all the originals from season one and season two. Capture what's going on in their life today. 
And then have a reunion. From all the franchises. Right. They should put them all together. Yeah, have a reunion. Nice. I know they were trying to do the family reunion thing, but that's not the same thing. So have a reunion with all the original cast members of each franchise. Then have a reunion for the end of the season and just dead the whole franchise. Mm-hmm. Dead the whole series at that point. Because isn't, isn't, if you're going to keep it going, they got to switch it up. Like, we tired of the baby mama drama. We tired of Sierra we with somebody new every season. You know, we tired of Spice. Harley be- with somebody new every, every season. season. We tired of Spice being mad happy, mad happy, mad happy. <laughs> then trying to put this album together. We don't even know who the new cast members are. But they got music out. So, But that's what love and hip-hop is missing. The hip-hop. We ain't heard no music. When are y'all performing? They only played in Atlanta. When are y'all uh, recording? In, they played in Atlanta. Oh. But this season, Spice is trying to get everybody together to do a um, a cast album. But I don't. I didn't really know all of them rapped. <laughs> I know. You see, Sierra got mad because Spice. I heard her, her song. Sierra, mm-hmm. girl, when you became a rapper, I thought you did hell. And have a restaurant. Or nails. Which one she did? Hell nails. She yeah, did hell. Nails. I think it was both. Oh. I don't know. Child, everybody want to be a rapper. So speaking of um people looking stupid, um, so <laughs> <laughs> people looking stupid on social media or on TV in general. You see what was going on with oh uh, Shannon Sharp? Oh Shannon Sharp, little Shan Shan. Shay Shay. <laughs> Club Shay Shay. Shay. Okay. So, what's your opinion on it? Every, y'all should, y'all should funny. already know what happened. Shannon Sharp accidentally went live on Instagram while he was having sexual relations with a female, and it, it was live. And people, you know, got the audio and went everywhere with it, and I all mean, of you that. couldn't see nothing, you but could, you could hear it them. You yeah, know. I mean, you could. I see, mean, I guess he was doing his thing. It sound like it, I mean it sound like she was enjoying it. Uh, yeah. So what do you feel about the whole situation? Because people are trying to say that he he did that to prove that he's not bi or gay or whatever, and people also feel like it was a publicity thing. Do you think it was an accident for real or what? I don't think it was an accident. Okay. Absolutely not. I don't think it was an accident. You I know think how many buttons was... you have to press to go live. <sighs> I think it was purposely done, but it wasn't done in a distasteful way. That's why, like, his job is not really... Because you can't see anything. You couldn't see anything. All you could do is hear. No face, no case. That's what they say. You know, I do appreciate the fact that he was talking to a baby. Talking. Anyways. um, Okay. (laughs) How many times you watched the video? I only watched the video. (laughs) (laughs) But, you know... Talk to your partner. Some women like that. We like when you talk to us. Tell me what you're doing. Clearly, you know? clearly she likes it. She could barely say anything back. <laughs> talk to me. Come and talk to me. <laughs> you two ain't gonna like this. Okay, episode. anyway. <laughs> but yeah. But who knows the Shannon? Like, I I do fuck with his podcast. And his I don't channel. feel too much a way about it. I thought it was funny. It don't um, concern me, so I don't care. I'm enjoying all of the social media jokes about it. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think that it proved that he wasn't riding in that boat, you know? Yeah, it because I don't feel like anybody ever really called him gay. I think they called him bisexual. Bisexual means that you like males and females, right? So just because you're on video, on audio, having sexual relations with a female today does not mean that you're not going to go have sex with a male when this camera go off. Hello. But I'm not accusing him of anything. I mean, you can do what you want to do. I don't really care. You can do what you want to do, but I think it all boiled down to the way he was carrying himself or how he was dressing. They was accusing him of that. You know, Shannon Shaw wears a lot of tight clothes and it only looks sassy because he is a muscular built man. Mm -hmm. I personally don't think he's a sassy man. I don't think he's gay either. Um, I don't think he's gay either. I just don't think that that video proved anything. Right. But, um... If that's what she was trying to do. If that was your point, it, it didn't prove nothing, not to not to me, but... I'm sure it got you more viewers. Yeah, it got them more viewers, you know. They say any press is good press, so... Yeah, they do say that. Mm-hmm. But I thought it was funny. I thought it was real funny. I do want to shout out Shannon Sharp for, um... Putting my baby on his uh podcast, Marlon Wayans. Oh, I did. I did watch. Uh, 
I think, well, no. I love I, me some Marlon. That's I my did, favorite comedian. Wait, mm. I did watch part of the podcast, but the I'm not going to lie. The podcast be two hours long sometimes, and I just don't have the patience to sit there and watch all of that mm-hmm. if it's not like a movie or something. So. Right. I appreciate who watches our hour long episodes whenever we have them. <laughs> but um but yeah, I um I don't think Shannon he didn't get fired or anything. So I think that everything that happened was it was deserved. Mm-hmm. It was nothing that shouldn't have happened. Right. So kudos to Uncle Shannon. Right. For getting it in. With the camera rolling. <laughs> <laughs> so since we're talking about Uncle Shannon, let's slide right on to Auntie Nene Leaks. Auntie. So I saw that she posted, and I think NBC posted too, or they shared her post or something. Um, so Nene Leaks from Real Housewives of Atlanta, she is hosting the Emmys, which is we we filmed this on Sunday, so it's tonight. It's happening tonight. Um, Everybody who's in the reality TV world knows that Nene sued Bravo and NBC Universal and Andy and all of them back when she left the show in 2020. Um, They're Real Housewives of Atlanta in 2020. And since then, she's been allegedly blackballed from, you know, getting certain jobs and all of that. So when I saw she posted that she was going to be hosting the post Emmy show, which Mm -hmm. is post means after for y'all that don't know. So, and she said, so happy to be back with my NBC slash universal family or whatever. Yeah, I feel like that might've opened the door for her to slide in season 17 of the housewives. I sure hope so. I sure hope so. Are they finished filming this season? They have finished filming. Okay. Well, yeah. I know they don't take that much of a break between in uh, seasons and where well, the actually filming parts. So I hope it is a door open for her to come on back. Come on back, baby, because they <laughs> yeah because they struggling. The um they I think I heard that the season's supposed to air like the very beginning of next year or the end mm-hmm. of this year. Mm-hmm. So they don't normally start filming the next season until the reunion is almost done airing or something like that or mm-hmm. after the reunion airs. Yeah. So they got plenty of time to negotiate with the guy and negotiate and get her back on because something just tells me that Kenya might not come back next season at all or if she does come back I feel like Nene should be there. Bring both of them back. Yes. At the yes. same time. Nene you know, is Candy, definitely TV gold. You know, while Pedro on there, Candy not coming back. So bring Nene back, bring mm-hmm. Kenya back, keep Portia on there. Um, I would say even keep Drew. Keep Drew on there. Yes. And yes. Um, stop bringing Sheree back. Please. I'm, t- I'm tired of Sheree um, and her joggers. Um, <laughs> Spring, summer, fall. <laughs> lifestyle <laughs> but um yeah bring some of them back Phaedra is still gonna be on there so I really think that that OG cast and whoever the newbies that's still gonna be on there from this current mm-hmm. season I think that that will be a recipe for success yeah I think so too I think they should bring Nene back I'm and glad throw in one unfamiliar face Cynthia is back as a friend Oh, unfamiliar face. Yeah, uh, yeah, an unfamiliar face. Okay. Bring in somebody new. One person, not seven. They be bringing in too many people at one time. We can't get to know all them people at the same time. Right. We don't know who the friends of the show are. We don't know who's actual peach holder. It, it's confusing. It's confusing. So bring in one and then let us, you know. Like how for years Marlo was the only real friend of the show, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, excuse me. Um, so I think go back to the ingredients y'all had back in the season six and before. Sometimes you gotta go there. back to basics. Yeah. You know, go back to the beginning and see what worked then, and then bring that back. Cause y'all just sometimes y'all get into these further long seasons, these seasons eight, nine, ten, and y'all get lost. Y'all, we be confused. It's not even the same recipe it was back right, then. Right. Like. like I just went back yet last night and started watching from season one 
And I'm just looking, and I'm like, first of all, you can tell it's older because of how it looks on TV now. Mm -hmm. But it looked like it was actual real stuff going on. So, right. I don't know. They need to go back to um, to the glory days of the show or just, like I said, about loving hip-hop. Cancel it. <laughs> I mean, once you reach season 16 up to 20, we're tired of seeing the same stuff. I say the same thing about Basketball Wives. I still be watching some of these shows, but I'm kind of tired of the same people. Mm -hmm. And the favorite, I'm not going to lie, Basketball Wives. It's good this season. It's good this season, and I'm going to be honest, the person that's making it good is Brooke. You think? Mm-hmm. I like Brooke. She a little firecracker. I like her. I'm okay. I think it was a little messy bringing Laura back, but, I mean, that's between her and Shawnee. I'm okay with Brooke, but I feel like she... She's, she's always on go, but I feel like it don't be necessary at sometimes. I feel like she'd be being extra. But I do understand, like, with the daughter's situation, I would probably lose my shit, too, if somebody even spoke their name. Mm -hmm. But um, I get all that. I think... Jackie's holding it down because everybody's coming against her like always. There's always somebody mm -hmm. that they they go against. They all gang up on. I do like the fact that I ain't gonna lie. I do like the fact that Brandy and Evelyn are getting into it on and off again. Oh, they are. Yeah, they've been kind of going back and forth about Brandy's husband and uh -huh. some other stuff. And see, so I don't really care for Brandy. I'll take Malaysia over Brandy. I don't really care for Brandy either. I just don't like Evelyn. So. If she not on her side, I like her. <laughs> right now. But Brandy gets on my nerves too. Brandy and Jackie at it. Um, Jackie at it with the whole cast pretty much. Oh, no. And then now Evelyn decided that she forgave Jackie and she brought Jackie on this trip that they're currently on. And now everybody was looking at her sideways like you was just you was just investigating her for being a lady of the night in the eighties. So <laughs> How you back cool with her. Right. And when they was defending Jackie at the beginning of the season, Evelyn wasn't fond of it. So it's like um, a um, double standard type of thing. See, that's why you can't get involved in everybody beef. Because right. you be sitting there looking stupid and still mad at them people and they back cool. That's why um, you got to mind your business. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this, I think this season is... One of the better seasons of the later seasons of um, Basketball Wives, but because it's been boring the last few seasons. Mm -hmm. The only reason I watched the season, the last season when Malaysia was on, was because she was on it. So, but yeah. Um, I love me some Malaysia. Yeah. I hope her other show is successful. She it, got her own show? Yeah, it was on. Um, own, I think, or We TV. It was produced by Carlos King, Bold and Bougie. The oh, season, okay. The season's over already, but I I liked the show. It was okay. I don't I didn't really know who the other cast members were like that, but mm -hmm. they all meshed well together. So I hope they get a season two. Yeah. But yeah, cause she ain't coming back to Basketball Wives. The favorites ain't coming back. She ain't coming back. Tammy ain't coming back. If none of them, Royce ain't coming back. If none of them people that I like coming back, just keep the people you got now. And change up the ganging up on people or just cancel the show. I think they need to stop trying to pack so much drama into these shows. Like, we like to see them have a good time, too. We like to see them go on trips and enjoy each other and, and you know, actually eat at these dinners. Like, we ain't crazy when y'all set up these dinner scenes. We know it's going to be some drama, but it's like, it don't have to be drama on every episode. Like, it could be... Some happy times. People be happy in life sometimes, you know. Let them have some fun. I don't be like, that's why I, I watch it, but I don't watch them. That's all the shows, because they all do that now. They want to pack so much drama in there. Somebody got to be arguing and fussing and fighting on every episode. Like, let them people be happy. So we like to see happiness sometimes, too. Most of us do, at least. At least most of us do. I know I'm tired of standing up, fussing, and fighting, and argue all the time. Yeah, that's why I'm like, these shows are, I think, they're expiring yes. at this point. We've been watching y'all 
for years. Let at them this point. throw events and have a successful event or something. That you ain't know? gonna work though because everybody else be liking all the drama all the time. So that's it. Not... Just be too much drama. Mm -hmm. I like a little drama, but not every episode got drama in it. But speaking of drama, have you seen the other thing on social media? With Taseki and um Diamond the Body. I, I was just thinking about that. DTB, baby. B, uh, DTB got beat. <laughs> <laughs> DTB got beat. Appreciate you for having heart. I, I, I. They say that girl lip was mm. down to her chin. It still is. She, she, <laughs> she still, missing a tooth and everything. Right here. You can't even hide it. Look like her eyes sunken in, poor baby. But they said she got allegedly she got paid three hundred k to fight to sick. So I was watching some videos that Diamond uh, was posting on something and TikTok, I think. Where at first when the fight first happened, she was <laughs> she was on you know the internet crying or whatever about her face and all of that. And y'all. She ended my reality TV career, blah, blah, blah. It wasn't supposed to go this far. So pretty much from what she was saying, she viewed the reality TV shit as like, this is my character I'm playing. She was like, but I come to realize that everybody ain't playing with me. And then she started apologizing to some people and blah, blah, blah. So I'm just saying, um, just, just so knock some sense into her. That's what I say. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> Yeah, I saw she apologized to her and she accepted it, blah, blah, blah. But, yeah, reality TV is supposed to be real. Now, some of this stuff is forced, which makes it not that real. So, I just feel like on that type of show, the producers and stuff ain't protecting you. They That network... Is strictly drama. Not when you know what's going on. Like, you know how to sick it is. And you taunting the wrong people. I heard she got beat up multiple times after the union, <laughs> but you have heart. You get out there and that fight multiple That ain't always rounds. good to have heart, you but have you heart. out here nitpicking with people. Like, I see a lot of people say that, but Diamond got heart. She'll fight anybody. Of course she got so, heart because she started it. She gets beat up a lot. Nobody care because she will fight. Can you? Can you? Yeah, because there is this one particular person that we know that comes to my mind when we say that they will fight but can't fight. There was this one person. We was talking about her on the last episode. I think um, we were. Oh. The last episode we recorded. Oh, okay. We were, we were talking about her. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. but yeah, um... <laughs> <laughs> I forgot where I was going with it, but yeah, just because you get out there and throw some hands don't mean right, don't mean you right. can fight. She will fight, but Lord knows I can't, she can't. I can't wait. I even tried to give her some <laughs> pointers one time. Well, anyways, anyways, so um, yeah, but just because you can't, <laughs> woo. <laughs> Just you, just because you will fight don't mean you can fight. Yeah. Or you yeah. should. But Diamond, now her face all messed up, the tooth missing. I just want her to get it fixed. I know they done paid you the 300 k allegedly. It's don't, not going to cost that much to get that fixed. Get your tooth fixed, baby. I, she milking it at this point because mm. she keep... She on TikTok every damn day talking. I and I'm like, I don't know if you could pay me enough to let somebody... I ain't saying that. that she let to seek you beat her up, but I mean you knew what you was walking into. Like we everybody knows that girl know how to fight, so Yeah. She, she's a fighter. A eater. That's what she calls herself, a eater. A eater. <laughs> HFA up. But yeah, I'm tired of talking about these people. Yeah, anyways, let's wrap this up. Right. So <laughs> that wraps up episode 98 of Triple P and J. Like we said at the beginning of the episode and at the end of every episode, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share the episode, hit the, not hit the notification bell button so you can see when we post new episodes on the audio platforms or on all of them. Download the episode and leave us a rating and we will see y'all next week. Peace out.